Hi, my name is Julie Namot, and welcome back to the Milk and Morning Show. To the last episode of the morning show before winter break. So this this week we have today, Wednesday, will be a half day, which means that I don't even know if anyone will be watching this in their class. Um, but yeah, Wednesday, today is a half day because the teachers are doing something that they're not going to tell me. I've asked Mr. Kraser at least seven times and he refuses to tell me. Holiday party? Holiday party? The teachers are having a holiday party. Um, no, other other news, the Winter Ensemble concert is tomorrow on the 15th on the Thursday on the 7 of the p.m. You do not need a ticket, but you should totally, totally come and support all of your friends who are in performing arts, like me. Joshua is also in performing arts. Joshua's in orchestra. Orchestra's it's doing awesome. and rock. Rock band, Milk and the Cows, Jazz Lab, Jazz Ensemble, um, all of Shapiro's uh, minions are performing, and just a ton of other stuff. So go support them, people. The Yozma community has finally done the unthinkable, which has made a real trash can that is not fake. The old trash cans used to have like two things, and now they just have one. So that's good. Thank you, Yozma. Yozma also wants people to know that they have now installed like compostable forks and utensils, and so make sure to use those over the plastic ones because they are better for the environment. A playful and friendly Nerf gun fight at the house of Aton Feldman results in a scratched cornea. Miriam Hurstein tells her story. Miriam, tell us what was it like to get shot in the cornea? You know, God really assigns its toughest battles to its strongest soldiers, and this is just a riveting experience for me. Do you think that you could tell us who shot you? Um, I'd actually have to say Julia Francis Namod. With what instrument? With a Nerf gun. Thank you so much. Get well soon. Thank you. I also want to give another shout out to the new Milk and Swimming Pools. These guys, they're good enough for one person. You could do laps. Uh, I just, I'm really excited to take a dip once the temperature warms up. Oh, that was a mistake. That was some good water. I can tell you that is some good pool swimming water. Speaking of Hurstines, Mr. Hurstine, I know that you and your Hanukkah playlist, which has over 100,000 views, are, you know, synonymous with Hanukkah. And so I was wondering what it's like to feel like a celebrity. I don't know what it's like to feel like a celebrity, but I do feel like it's a fun activity to do every year, to spend time going through all the YouTube uh, videos to look for what are the newest and most exciting Hanukkah videos out there. And I feel like it's a service to provide for the community, the essential Hanukkah collection. Yes. Yes. Well Check out Spencer Davis's article on this playlist if you want to learn more, and happy Hanukkah. Here we are at Varsity Boys Basketball. It's Miss Dwyer reporting to you. It is the third quarter. We are down. Oakwood has the ball, but just lost possession. It's milk and ball. Okay, Ariel's going to throw it into Nick. Here we go. Here we go. It's been an aggressive game so far. Let's see what we got. The gym is packed. Nick has the ball. He is called traveling. Okay. The only correct way to spell Hanukkah is H-A-N-U-K-A. -A. Happy Hanukkah. I just want to wish everyone a Chag a happy Hanukkah. Spend time with your family. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Everyone have a great break. I'll see you when everyone comes back. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.